Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. And this repair is specifically on a product, a product that I've enjoyed using over the years, and that is the Quick 881D Rework Station. With time, most tools end up failing in one way or another. And this one, like many rework stations, has an error, the error HE, which stands for heating element. Today I'm going to show you how I replace that so that we can get this rework station back to a usable state, which will save us from having to buy a new rework station that's gonna co cost significantly more. And this process is pretty similar to every single rework station out there. If you don't specifically have the Quick 881D, but you have an HE error, this will at least give you an idea how to do it, if not show you pretty much exactly how to do it. Let's get into the video. This Quick 881D hot air rework station is a very good station. However, like most tools, eventually things might go wrong with it. You can see that when we turn this on, when we start it up, have it set at 400 degrees Celsius, and you can see the actual temperature is actually fairly cool. No matter what I adjust it to, I can, I can touch it because it's not hot. So that means that there's a heating element that's gone bad inside of here. And eventually you'll probably see, you'll see an error that's uh, AG, for example, right here. So I'm gonna show you how we fix that. Here you can see that I've got a replacement heating element for the 881D, pop it out. You can see it's basically the entire front portion here. The heating element is there inside with a, a, a few connectors here. Let me show you how we do this quick swap so we can get this station back up and running. To start, we've got three screws that are down inside of there. We need to unscrew. There's one, two, and three. We'll pull this out and then I'll pull a spring off here off the back so that this will slide down. And now you can see what we're dealing with on the inside. I'm gonna slide the zip tie off the edge here. That way I can slide that up and out. Now you can see we've got three different connectors. We've got the yellow, the red, and the big connector that we just disconnected. So it's really simple to get the keep these in order. Just gonna pull here, holding onto this, and that'll slide right out just like that. Now we'll pop out this little spacer here. This acts as a spacer for this one. Now you can see that slides on. We'll line up the connector here, push that into place. Now that that's clicked in, we can put that zip tie back over to keep it, kind of hold it in place there. And now let's deal with the rest of these. So the green grounder slides into this piece here on the end. Like that. And we'll find our yellow leads, push them together, and then we'll connect up the red one as well. Now we'll line up this guy, and we're gonna push these down. And it'll slide in. You might have to spin this a little bit until you find the openings. Then we'll screw back the three screws. There's one, two, and now we'll put back the last one. Now we're gonna turn it on. You can see the temperature's going up. You can see the heating element is working nice and hot. 
Sometimes these heating elements just go bad. It could be something as simple as one of these coils that runs through one of these nine channels has broken, preventing the current from heating up each one of those coils. It could be something that simple. But replacing this is much more cost effective than replacing the whole, the whole machine. So hopefully you'll be able to fix your rework station if you have that error. Or at least you'll know how to when and if you do run into it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.